Good day and welcome back to my channel, The Queen Phoenix. The beautiful pattern in front of you is a tulip basket. Very simple to make and very quick. So you will, the next video after this will have the tulip coaster in and a tulip coaster for a teapot. So let's do this. For this project, you're gonna need your yarn. Whatever colors you're deciding on, up to you. You're gonna need an appropriate size crochet hook, a pair of scissors to do some, to cut your yarn, a darning needle, if you don't have one, a smaller size crochet hook works just as well. So we're going to start with the basket part of this tutorial. You will start this project by making a magic ring or a magic circle depending on what you call it. And you're going to chain three. Then you're going to make ten double crochets into your magic ring. Once you have your 10 double crochets, tighten your ring and slip stitch into the very first double crochet. And that is round one complete. For round two, chain three. For this row, you will make two double crochet in each stitch around. Let me repeat that. Your repeat for this round is two double crochets in each stitch until you come to the end of your round. Right around and that's where I'll meet you. When you get to the end of your round, again, slip stitch into the very first double crochet. For round three, chain three. In each double crochet around, you're going to make two double crochet. So you are basically repeating row three, excuse me, row two. Two double crochet in each stitch around. You will continue to work like that until you come to the end of your round. When you get to the end of row three, again slip stitch into the very first double crochet. For row four, we are going to work in back loops only. Remember this is the basket part. So chain three, we're gonna do the sides of the basket. One double crochet in each stitch around, but only in the back loops, okay? If you're not sure which is your back loop, Front loop, okay, let me get it in focus. Front loop, back loop. The ones at the back, please. One double crochet in each stitch right around until you come to the end of your round. Once you've made, you've completed row four, slip stitch into the very first double crochet and chain three. Now you're going to work one double crochet in each stitch around. One double crochet in each stitch around for row five. And you can see it's starting to take the shape of a basket. And this is the end of row six. You will slip stitch into the very first double crochet. Now. We're going to repeat row six. So chain three and one double crochet in each stitch. One double crochet in each stitch around. This is just to ensure that our basket is deep enough. And this is row number seven. So you can see how it's coming out. When you get to the end of the row, please slip stitch into the very first double crochet. Now 
And that completes row number six. And I'm so sure I made a mistake on when I said we're going to repeat number six. We were, we, are, we were supposed to repeat row number five for row number six. When you come to the end of row six, cut your yarn. And you're going to want to work this tail away completely. So you can either use a darning needle or a smaller size crochet hook. The choice is yours. This is the basket that we've just made. You're going to take an alternative color. I'm going to use green because I want this to look like a proper flower and you can join it to any of the stitches. Once you've joined whatever color you are using, you will chain four and into the very same stitch you are going to make one double crochet. So the chain four equals one double crochet and a chain one. Now skip two stitches, so it's one, two, and into the next stitch work one double crochet, a chain one, and one double crochet. Skip two stitches, so it's I should say skip two stitches. So it's one, two, and in your third stitch, make a double crochet, a chain one, and a double crochet. Skip two of the double crochets, and in the next space, work one double crochet, a chain one, and a double crochet. Skip the two double crochets, in the next space, a double crochet, chain one, and a double crochet. Let me show you that for the last time. Skip two, one, two, double crochets. Now make a double crochet, a chain one, and a double crochet, all in the same space. And you will repeat that until you come to the end of your round. When you come to the end of your row, slip stitch into the top of the third chain. Chain one, cut your yarn, and you want to work this tail away, but into the green, so that you don't see it in the white. Once you've worked your ends away the best you can, just snip the excess away and you can see you can't see. Right, so now grab the color that you want to make your flowers in. I've got this pinkish color and we're going to join this. You're going to join it to any of your chain one spaces. So you, there's a chain one in between each of these V stitches. So a V stitch is a double crochet, a chain one, and a double crochet. So in between, choose one and join your yarn to that specific stitch. So I'm just pulling mine out there, moving my tail. You will chain three. And into the same stitch, you're going to make a popcorn stitch, a four double crochet popcorn stitch. So you're going to go in, just like how you make a double crochet, yarn over, go in, bring up a loop. 
double crochet but I'm not finishing it off I'm leaving the one loop on I'm gonna make another one a third one and a fourth one once I have five loops on my hook I'm going to yarn over and go through all five now I'm going to chain two and I'm going to excuse me I just made the world's biggest mistake here can I just undo that for you you will chain three and make four double crochets into that same chain one space pull your loop out go into the third chain from the beginning put your loop back on and pull your loop through to make a popcorn stitch then chain two and you're going to repeat the popcorn stitch but with five double crochets so into the next chain one space repeat your five double well work five double crochets that's two three four five pull your loop up remove your hook put it into the first double crochet put your loop back on and pull through chain two and repeat five double crochets in each of the chain one spaces and you will use your five double crochets to make a popcorn stitch so pull your loop up into the very first double crochet loop back on pull through and chain two continue to work in this manner until you come to the end of your round and chain two so this is what your basket would start to look like as you crochet along I'm down to the last tulip stitch so these popcorn stitches will look like little tulips on the top of your basket which I will show that to you now so when you get to the end it's chain two and slip stitch at the back of the of the popcorn stitch chain one you're gonna cut your yarn and you're going to work this tail away immediately also hide this tail in the pink or whichever color you are using just so that it looks prettier and cut the excess off and here's your basket so you can see it looks like a tulip the stem piece and the tulip on top and that's how simple it is to make this cute little tulip basket please check out the next video which is the tulip coaster followed by the tulip teapot um, coaster so check it out I will be putting both of them in the same video thank you so much for watching this is the Queen Phoenix out